welcome to my channel. Um, well, where do I start? I am obviously, as you can tell by the title, gonna show you guys uh, what to take for your baby if you're traveling, especially in the winter time. Um, yeah, so I have accumulated or I have put together here the things that I think are very essential for you when you travel with your little one um, because I'm going to Chicago so I know it's gonna be around 30s 40s degree uh, degrees out there so I want to make sure my baby is as bundled up as possible anyways I am a mess right now as you can tell cuz I'm packing I'm literally packing cuz I'm leaving in a couple days so don't mind my appearance um, I look like a mess anyways if you want to know what I'm packing for my little one for Chicago during this winter, then just keep watching. All right, so first off, let's start with, um, I guess I'll start with the smaller stuff and then I'll work my way to the bigger stuff. All right, first of all, I am packing one really warm, um, like a pajama thing, what is it called, like onesies? Yeah, so I'm packing a really warm onesie that is like a fleece material because I don't really know how cold it will be in the hotel room obviously you can sometimes you can regulate the temperature and sometimes you can't so I am trying to just make sure that I'm prepared so I'm packing one warm one and then I am packing well, I'll be there for four days so um, the rest of the pajamas are just like the regular cotton like pants and shirt long sleeve um, so I have one, two, three, and four. The good thing about having these like cotton, the thinner ones, um, the good thing about taking these with you is because you can layer these under their clothes while they're out in the street, out and about. So you can use these like, let's say like they're long johns kind of a thing. So that's why I'm taking four of them because we're gonna be there for four days. So that way he'll have clothes to put under, like to layer under his clothes um, for four days. So, and then they serve as pajamas as well. So let's say in case it gets, it's cold in the hotel or whatever, I'm gonna put this and then this on top. And then on top of that, I also have a sleep sack that is a fleece because um, my son usually sleeps with that anyways, so he's actually wearing it right now because he's taking a nap, so that's why I'm not showing it, but it's, if you don't know what a sleep sack is, look it up. I really don't, I don't know how to insert like images into my video, so I'm sorry, but it's a sleep sack, it's just like a sleeping bag per se with like the shoulder part attached to it and then it has a zipper and it's made out of different materials. Um, they have cotton ones, fleece ones. The ones that I'm taking, the one that I'm taking for my son is fleece. I'm only taking one because I don't want to have so many things with me. So anyhow, that is what I'm taking for like nighttime slash putting this under his clothing while we're out. Okay. Also, under the pajamas, when my baby goes to sleep, I always put because it's winter time right now, so it gets cold. Um, I always put undershirts under him. I mean under his clothes, whatever he's wearing. So these are just white with like no sleeves and I just put this under whatever I'm gonna, like his pajamas or whatever. So I'm taking four of these. So they're just white, plain white. I don't really like the ones that have too much going on because these just go under and no one's gonna see them anyways, but I just like white. Okay, now for, that's for like more nighttime stuff. For going out, oh, this is what I have here. I'll show you guys in a minute. For pants, I am really sticking to neutral colors because I don't want them to be all like mix match and just looking like a, I don't know, I'm, I like to, Kind of match a little bit or not match but be neutral like as you can tell my house is just white and gray all throughout i'm always a neutral kind of a girl so for his pants i've packed a gray kind of 
like looking, it's not jeans, it's like a cargo material, so they're kind of thick. And um, obviously I'm gonna put like his pajama pants under this, so that'll keep him nice and warm. Same thing with these, these are some black. Um, the bottoms are like cuffed, and also on these, they are cuffed. I don't like him to wear flare things, so I always like either skinny or cuffed. So um, I'm wearing, I mean I'm wearing, I'm taking these black ones for him. I'm also gonna put pajamas under them so he's warm. And so I'll show you guys all the pants I'm taking, okay? So that's two, two pants right there. This is the third pair. It's just a, I don't know how to describe this, but this kind of jean hat is like lined kind of. I don't know what it's lined with. I don't know if it's like a really thin fleece or whatnot, but I got these, where did I get them? At Target in the Cat and Jack section. Um, and they are just jeans, like, um, I don't know what you call this, like a medium wash, I guess, kind of a color. And I'm taking, so that's my third pair of jeans. I'm taking another pair, just jeans. These are from Carter's. So, and then I'm taking a dark, oh, sorry, a dark pair of jeans. These are from Diesel. So, I am taking five pairs of pants because you never know, they might have an accident. My son is really good about one outfit per day just because he's one already and he doesn't tend to have many accidents anymore. Like he'll poop and then I'll change him and then he'll be good or he'll pee or whatever. He doesn't really have to be changed that much. So I'm only taking one extra pair of pants and um, if anything, I'm pretty sure there's like a laundromat at the hotel, so if anything, I can always wash. So I'm not too worried about that. For, um, so I'm gonna put his um, pajama long sleeve shirt, and then on top of that, I'm gonna put this, um, what is it called? Like a sweater thing? Sweatshirt? Yeah, I think you call them sweatshirts. But it's like a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a cushioned look to it. And it's thick and it's lined with, oh my gosh, my hairs are everywhere. Sorry guys. My, it's lined with fleas and I got this at Target. So just a little cute. It's black with the, this part's gray, so it's cute. Um, I also have this one. It's like a, what is it called? I think you know what I'm talking about and um, this one is also black it has the little buttons and this one has a hoodie so this will be going over his pajama shirt and remember under the pajama shirt he has the undershirt that the white one and then the pajamas and then this okay and then I'm also taking this one this one is from Gymboree and it has like a little fur right here and it's fleece and I love it because it has the little patches in the elbows so it's really cute um, so I'm taking that one as well um, I'm taking this just regular long sleeve so I'm gonna be putting this over his other one and I'm also taking this light blue or it's like a like a navy blue but it just has like kind of white into it and it has a little bear this is from carter's so i'm taking that one i'm also taking this is a thermal and it's um like a military green this one is just a regular long sleeve cotton that has thermal sleeves um little beaver on it thought it was cute like I said I'm sticking to neutrals so as you can tell I'm like grays and dark greens and grays and blacks so and also this other thermal black with it has like little white and blue dots in it so it's really cute and I'm taking 
this one, it's just a long sleeve gray and like it's like a darker gray and a lighter gray and it has little dots that are um, different colors in it. It's really cute. So that's all I'm taking for shirts. So for long sleeve shirts, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six long sleeve shirts. With shirts, I do take a couple extra ones because he tends to eat and get like food right here. So I'm just taking a couple of them. And then, like I said, I'm taking this one and the hoodie one to just kind of put over that. So that's already one, two, like four layers of thin clothing. I don't know that he'll need that many underneath, but I don't really know how cold it's gonna be. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm only taking two like beanies or hat thingies. So this one is from Gap. It's really cute and it's lined with that um, Sherpa material or I don't know what it's called, like a teddy bear material and it ties underneath. The reason why I got it to tie underneath is because my son loves to pull things out of his head. He doesn't like to wear hats or anything like that. So the other, I tried this on him at the store and he actually couldn't take it off because it was attached and he doesn't know how to undo the belt throw. So this is good for the little ones. If you're looking for something, look for like a hat or a beanie, look for something that has some kind of attachment at the bottom. This one will also keep his ears warm because it has little ear flap things and it's super cute because it has the little bear ears. So I'm taking this one and I'm also taking a gray beanie which is in his room, my son's room, and he's asleep so I don't want to really take it out. But it's just a regular beanie that goes over with the little pom-pom on the top. And that's it, just a gray one. I'm taking this, um, what is it called, like a scarf. And this one is from, I believe, Cat and Jack. Yeah, it's from Cat and Jack. And it is that buffalo plaid material. It is shorter in the back than in the front. So it almost looks like, like a bandana. But the inside is lined like this. And you can flip it. So let's say one day you want to have a black one. Then you flip it like this. And then one day you want to be a little more have more color and you flip it like that so I'm only taking one that way he could just flip it if, he, if I need to have a more different color so I'm only taking that and then I'm only taking one pair of gloves I got these from Gap they're just like really fluffy the inside is I mean the inside the bottom of the mitten is lined with that same buffalo plaid material and the inside of the glove is fleece and it's super warm so yeah, I got these from Gap, like I said, so I'm only taking one pair of gloves. Really don't think he needs any more, and if we do, we can just buy it out there. It's in Chicago, so it's not like it's out of the country. Um, for socks, I'm taking these really thick ones from um, Gymboree. It was like, they were like $3.99 on sale, as you can tell, and um, yeah, I got, so these are two of them. Um, so I'm only taking two of the thicker ones and these are long ones. And then I'm just taking his regular white and black socks. So I'm having four pairs, two black, two white, and then these longer ones that are thicker. So that's what I'm taking. For shoes, I'm only gonna be taking two pairs of shoes. I'm taking these little gray, dark gray boots that look like Timberland. And the inside has like a cute pattern like that. I actually got these at Walmart from Granimals. They were only like 10 bucks or 13 or something like that. So yeah, and they're warm inside. So these are really cute and they will go with most of his outfits. And then I'm also taking these. They're like the little duck boots. So this part right here is rubber all around. This, he has already worn these cause I couldn't wait, <laughs> they're so cute. This part is like a suede and then the inside is lined 
like that. It's like a fur kind of a thing. And I also got these from Walmart for like 13 bucks. So there you have it. These are the only shoes I'm taking for him. He doesn't really need any more than that. And this will go with everything. Okay, moving on. So for jackets, I'm probably only gonna take like two jackets because he doesn't need more than that. Like the bigger ones. So this one is a really thick coat from jacket from Oshkosh. Um, I really love it because if, if you're gonna buy a jacket for your kid, get something like this. You get two for one. You get a thick, like, hooky one, and then you get a thinner one that is also like a windbreaker kind of a thing. But this one's reversible, so you can have it, um, you can flip it inside out. So if you want the black side or the darker side, and yeah, it's really cool. It's totally removable, so if you don't want your kid to be that hot, you can just have the bigger one, or you can have the thinner one, and like I said, it's reversible. So this is super cute. It has a little Oshkosh logo right here on the side, and yeah. So I'm only taking one like one like that, and then I'm also taking this. Um, oh, I can't. I think it's called a sherpa. I don't really know, or it's like a teddy coat or something. Um, I'm taking this one, and it's just like a maroon color. It's super warm, and this one's actually thinner. So this, if it's not that cold, I could just put this over his other layers, and that's it. And I am also taking I'm taking this sweater. It's really thick, like a really thick sweater. So in case I just want to put one under layer, he could just have this one and then the bigger jacket, and then that's it. And I'm taking another thin sweater with a hoodie. This one has like dinosaur spikes down the beanie or the hoodie, which I think is cute. So that's it. I don't think I'm taking this one. It's just another jacket of like the other one. So if you have room and you want your kid to have different jackets, then you might want to do another one, but I don't think I'm taking it. I just thought I'd show you guys. So that's pretty much it for the clothing. I'm done with that part. The next part is things you need to take with, sorry. Ooh, I'm drinking coffee, so I'm like just burping. Um, the next thing you want to take with you is um, I'm taking this pouch. I got this at the dollar section in Target, and I am taking butt cream. I really love this one. It's the triple paste in case they get like a little rash. And you also want to take a body wash or like a shampoo. I take the two-in-one so that way I don't have to take extra things. I like, I love this one by Mustela and um, it's just the gentle cleansing gel. I got this, the travel size at Target, so it's really small and compact. And I just put inside a little baggie just in case it leaks. So I got that. I have the little baby Q-tip. So that's for after shower. And then my baby, I think he has like eczema or something because he always has like patches and dry skin. So I use, I don't know if you can tell, the Abino Baby um, Eczema Therapy for nighttime. And this is what I use every time I put, every time I give him a bath. And this is the travel size. So that's all I have in there for like, you know, after his bath time and stuff. And then I'm also taking extra disposable bibs. I got these at Walmart for like four bucks or something. So I always carry disposable bibs with me because I hate having to like take off the bib and then they have all this gunk in it and then you have to like put it inside your bag after you go to a restaurant or something. So I just buy the disposable ones and then you just chuck it after you're done eating and that's it. Oh my gosh, if I can recommend something when you're going out with your kid is these place mats. They are plastic. And I don't know if you've heard of them or not, but I swear by these. So it looks like this. They're just plastic and they have 
like tape so you can just stick it to the table so you stick this on the table and then you place the food over that and then the kid just eats out of the table which if your kid is anything like my kid um, he does not know how to use utensils he's really messy and yeah I can't just put a plate in front of him because he'll just put food everywhere so at least if you put their food on this, they can eat off of it, and then when you're done with the, when they're done eating, you just throw it away. So these are my two recommended items to take with you when you travel. Um, also, you don't want to really take if you're traveling, especially like in the country or whatever, or even if you're going out of the country. Most places obviously have to have diapers because there's babies everywhere. So I don't really like to take diapers because they just take up space in your luggage and you don't want that so I just take enough diapers for maybe like two days max or one and a half days just in case you can't get to like the supermarket or whatever anytime soon at least you'll have enough for the flight and then when you get there for them to sleep or whatever so I take maybe like he usually goes through like five diapers a day so maybe I'll take like ten diapers I'll keep five in my diaper bag and then I'll put five down in the check-in bag so that's all I take with me and then when I get there I just buy more and yeah when it comes to formula my son doesn't really do formula anymore he is actually drinking whole milk so um, I would go when you go to the supermarket to get the diapers I would just get like a little gallon of Whole milk if your kid is on you know can drink whole milk if not then I will just take buy the powder formula or formula or whatever when you get over there because they I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell it if not if you're going out of the country then I recommend instead of taking the can of formula I recommend the travel size ones that are like a little pouch that all you gotta do is pour it in the water and that's it so that's a recommendation that I suggest you guys do. I have done them in the past, not that much because my son was um, exclusively breastfed, but sometimes when I had to go or whatever and I wanted someone else to feed him, then I would take a few pouches of formula. Give me one second. So my neighbor just came over to, she went to Disneyland and she brought me this um, little Minnie Mouse, I mean Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, like Rice Krispie Treat, so that was really sweet of her. <laughs> I was like, who's at the door? I thought it was like, I don't know, Amazon or something. Anyways, um, like I was saying, yeah, I really didn't have to pack formula, so that's what I took. Um, yeah, so what else am I missing? Yeah, I usually take, like if I'm going out of the country, I bought this inflatable tub for the babies because you know most hotels like if you're going out of the country only have a shower and you you know kids usually like to be sitting in a tub so I would take this inflatable bathtub just it folds really small and then I just put it in this pouch and that's it and then I would take it with me but since I'm going here in the states most hotels have a tub so I'm not worrying about that and then I am taking a towel for him you know what no I'm not that just takes up space they have towels at the freaking hotel so I'm not gonna take a towel and yeah that is all I'm taking for him for clothes and for things for him to eat I mean for him to eat for him to you know for the shower and stuff and then for him to eat um, he is eating everything now since he's a year old and I am most likely gonna take just a few like of those pouches from Gerber or whatever brand you use in my um, diaper bag in case he gets hungry on the flight. I have something for him to eat and I'm taking some snacks. Always take snacks um, with you in the airplane because kids get cranky, especially if it's a long flight. Just take snacks. I'm taking the little cereal looking ones, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, he's, I'm taking those. I'm taking the little pouches. And obviously, um, uh, what is it called? Most airlines have milk, so I'm probably just gonna ask him for some milk. But if not, I'm still breastfeeding my kid. I know he. Well, 
My goal was to breastfeed him till he was a year and he's a little bit over a year and I'm still breastfeeding him. Mostly for soothing, I just do it at night and in the morning. So I will be breastfeeding him during the flight because during landing and takeoff, you want to give your baby either a bottle or your boob or something because the, the pressure that, they, that um, happens in the cabin can hurt their little ears so make sure that they're you know kind of moving their mouth around like by sucking on something or by chewing on something just to pop their ears because they can't they don't know how to pop their ears obviously so that's what i do and it really has worked for me i always breastfeed him on breastfeed him on takeoff and landing and he's totally fine um another thing to entertain your kid is take a toy that he that is like a new toy to him so he can be entertained. I don't like to take to uh, toys that make a lot of noise because then they desert, it disturbs the other passengers. But take something interesting like a book or like whatever, something that is interesting for your kid like blocks or something, like a few blocks. Whatever it works for you. Um, I am going to be taking his iPad because guys, you want to make sure you survive that flight. and do whatever you gotta do to survive it so i'm taking an ipad and i am playing some movies for him i usually like to play dave and ava from youtube if you guys don't know what they are or who they are is this a really edu educational uh, youtube channel that teaches numbers and letters and colors and songs nursery rhymes and stuff like that so i really love that um, i'm gonna be downloading some of their stuff down to my iPad I mean on my iPad since I can't have internet in the airplane and that's what I'm gonna be doing because you just need to get through it since I'm flying alone by the way <laughs> it's just me and my son we're meeting up with my husband out there so there you go another tip for uh, you know I couldn't find anything on the internet that was like explaining to you or giving tips about where the kid sleeps or the car seat or the stroller like all the stuff were like oh what to pack for the kid for clothes but they never said anything about like a pack and play or things like that i couldn't find one a really good one so um if you are going to travel out of the country i recommend buying the guava um pack and play it is literally the size of a backpack when you put it on it has like a like um the cover of the pack and play or whatever has straps so um, I actually have it out right now I'll show you guys in a minute but it literally has you, you can take it as your carry-on like bag it's that small so I recommend buying that pack and play I cannot express I've taken it with me three times already while traveling and I love it I won't be taking it this trip because um, I call their hotel and they actually have a pack and play out there. So there's no point in me taking one when they have they provide it at the hotel. So um, yeah, make sure you call your hotel in advance and ask if they have a pack and play that they can rent to you or that they provide. And if so, then there's no point in taking another one. For car seat, um, you know, obviously if you're going out of the country, you want to make sure you take a car seat. I made the mistake of the first time I traveled, I took those big bulky car seats because I wanted my son to be comfortable and that thing was so heavy. I did buy a case for it so that my sh husband could put it in his shoulders like a backpack, but that thing was super heavy. He ended up with like no circulation in his arms and they were like turning purple, like that thing is heavy. So don't take something like that. If you can, still get away with it and your kid can travel in a car seat like this one my son is fun and he could still fit in this um you know obviously his legs are out a little bit but it still has the straps and it'll keep them protected so this is what i'm taking with me um yeah it's smaller and a tip that i recommend i recommend not um not checking it in because they charge you what i do is i just take the stroller and the car seat and put it on top and you take it up to the airplane and most airplanes just they're able to take the stroller and the car seat and put it away for you and then they'll bring it back to you when your flight is over um yeah they most of the time they don't notice that you have a car seat on top of there because a lot of times they want to charge you extra for having a car seat and it's like no it's part of the stroller so you just take it up to the freaking 
you know, airplane door or whatever, and then it's fine. Um, I don't like to take a bulky. Now you're gonna ask about most likely a stroller. What kind of stroller do I take when traveling? I looked far and near for a freaking stroller that was travel friendly. And the ones I came up, you know, upon, they were just like still bulky and yeah, I was like, no. I wanted something that if I wanted to take on board with me, I could. Yes, you can take on, you can take strollers on board in case you didn't know. They have small ones that are um, really good. Uh, don't take an umbrella stroller. I don't recommend it, to be honest with you, because they're just long and they don't usually recline. And you need that thing to recline because your kid, when you're traveling, they are gonna wanna take naps. And guess what, if they have a freaking umbrella stroller they're just gonna be like hanging like this because there's no way for them to recline they're gonna be uncomfortable they're gonna be cranky and it's gonna be harder on you and your trip so make sure you get a stroller that freaking reclines the one I have here um, I got it from Amazon so as you can tell it's really small um, it comes it's like the size of my torso pretty much so from butt to shoulder if I'm sitting down and I'm pretty small so it's really small and you can fit it overhead in the overhead compartment of the airplane um, I'll open it for you guys right now but it has a case to it so when you put the case on it like you literally cannot it looks like a backpack pretty much that you could just put on your shoulders um, this one is from tiny wonders I don't know if Amazon's Still sells it but the dupe this is a dupe for like the baby yo-yo or baby yeah I think it's baby yo-yo it's a dupe for it um obviously the baby yo-yo is like $400 this was like 160 so save yourself some money um, this is the one I got I like it because it folds in three sections so it's like the back part and then the um, I mean not the back part the part that goes over the head and then you got the back and then the legs so it folds in three sections instead of two most um, strollers just fold like a sandwich like in two but this one has three folds so that's why it's so compact so when you open it up it's like this So the back, the seat is not the most comfortable thing in the world. It's kind of hard. So what I went ahead and did was from Amazon, I ordered this. Um, I'll show you guys. I ordered this. Um, what would you call it? Like a cushion to put on the inside of the stroller. This thing is thick. So. Yeah, it'll keep his little butt like cushioned if you're, you know, going around town or whatever. So this thing fits perfectly in there. And I love it because it's nice and padded. So yeah. So this is a stroller. Um, it doesn't have a lot of storage under, but it's enough storage to put like bags or whatever. And what I usually do is I'll hang my diaper bag from these hooks right here. It comes with these hooks, so you can just hang your um, diaper bag from there or your bags or whatever. And then I did buy this at my, I don't know if it was like at Ross or Marshall's. It's like a little bag thing that hangs from there and I can put water here. I can put his wipes in here. So I really like this one. And um, it has like for the bottles on the sides and things like that. And the overhead um, thing, the cover, is a pretty decent size. And you have the little thing right here so you can see them. And the back reclines, like I said. It reclines all the way like that so they can take a nap. They also sell an insert for you to put right here so that their legs are not hanging, that they can be up. But I haven't bought it, but my son has totally, he's been fine about it. So that is my stroller and this car seat, since it's small enough, 
I can actually fit it. If I put the, the seat all the way down, I can fit the car seat. Right up in there. Like that. So that is usually what I do. I'll put my son in there and then I'll, you know, put take this with me all the way to the airplane door and then they'll take it from there. So there you go. That's what I do for stroller and car seat and yeah. Um, oh, also, if you're gonna be taking bottles for your kid, um, make sure that you buy a travel size um, thing like this. This is so that you can wash your kids' um, bottles. So it has a drying rack, obviously, as you can tell, it has the little holes. I mean, the little holes, the little spikes, so you can dry your stuff. This comes off like so. And this has a little tiny brush so that you can get inside like the straws and things like that. And then this can actually twist into this and then you can wash your brushes. I mean, wash your brushes, wash your bottles. I also bought this like extra little thing so you can get all the way inside the straws and you can clean them out properly. And like I said, you use this as a drying rack and then this comes apart and you can actually just put it away like so. And it's really compact. There you go. You can't even stick this in your purse. So definitely take something to wash your bottles with because you don't want to be stuck in a hotel and then like your bottles are all dirty and piling up and there's really no way to wash them unless you're gonna go and buy another brush out there. But I really like this travel size one. Um, also, since we're going to a winter place again, I went and bought this thing. It is a I don't know what you call this, but it's for the stroller. It has the little holes so you can put the straps through. And basically, it's like a freaking comforter. It's really thick. I think the brand of this is J. Cole. Um, yeah, I think I bought this at like Burlington Coat Factory or something. And you put this while they're in the stroller or in the car seat so they can be super warm. And it also comes with this thing. It's like an attachment for the stroller handles. So you put this through the stroller right here. And you just clip it in place. And then you can keep your hands inside of it. It's basically to keep your hands warm. I don't know if you guys can see, but I really like it because, you know, it just keeps your hands warm in the cold. So it comes with that attachment. So I'll probably just be leaving it there so I don't have to take it out of the stroller. Oh, actually the brand of, of this is called Tadpoles. Tadpoles. So that's the brand of the stroller cover thing. Oh my goodness, that is gonna be a super long video, but I feel like it's necessary to explain all these things because, you know, as moms, and especially first time moms, we really don't know what to pack. Like, we're just lost and I've, I mean, at least I had that problem when I was traveling for the first time. I was like, what the heck do I pack? You know, what do I need? And then sometimes you forget things. You forget that you need a freaking car seat. You know, you want to keep your kids safe. You forget that where are they going to sleep? They obviously need somewhere to sleep. So, yeah. And to keep warm. So, guys, I hope these tips were helpful. Before I go, I'm just going to show you guys the um, pack and play really quickly so you guys can see um, what I'm talking about. Currently packing, obviously, for my trip. But here it is. It is a full size um, pack and play and it folds super small. Go check out their videos at um, waba.com, I think. And they'll, I'm not affiliated or anything, but I'm just really, I really like their products. So <sighs> don't mind my mess.
I really like their products, so go check them out. Definitely worth getting something like that for your kid if you're gonna be traveling a lot. Um, yeah, what else? I will try to link the things that I bought down below. Like, I'll try to see if they still have the stroller and I'll try to find a cover for the stroller, like the little comforter one, you know. Not the same one, most likely, but I'll try to find something similar. I'm sorry I'm moving my camera a lot, but I'm trying to just put it down here so I can talk to you guys. Um, I'll try to link as much things as I can down below in the, in the link bar, in the description bar or whatever. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night and that this video was helpful. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!